We've been talking a lot recently about WordPress and its more recent developments which bring it more in line as a competitor to a tool like Webflow. And in this episode, I'm gonna take a look at my personal favorite co no coding platform, Pinegrow, and their WordPress plugin, which basically enables you to design and develop your WordPress theme online directly in WordPress, as opposed to on your desktop and faffing around, uploading files via FTP and all that nonsense. But I'm here to take a look into it and convert my what traditional Pinegrow project into an online version, see what that experience is like, and again, just kind of give you a little taster of what that looks like. It's worth noting that deciding whether you're gonna use the desktop version of Pinegrow and the online version of Pinegrow, which one you're gonna kind of go with, because I can count many, many times where I've been on a train with no internet access, but I'm able to work on my website because of course everything is offline. We're not relying on any internet connection. If you do install the Pinegrow WordPress plugin, then you can only edit your theme online, or at least that's what the assumption is. I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper and then, and show you what I discover. So with that, let's let's get this installed, let's see what it's all about and, and give you a little taster on the Pinegrow plugin for WordPress. So taking a quick look at the Pinegrow WordPress plugin landing page, uh, I strongly suggest if you want to dig more into this then check out some of Adam's content, uh, he does a great job of explaining a lot of the stuff. But Scrolling down to the price, you'll see that you've got a £25.60 per year per site uh, for this plugin. And this is, I think this is perfectly reasonable, much cheaper than Webflow, but also a little bit cheaper than something like Bricks. Uh, but it's for that one specific site. If you're going to be reselling and using the Work Pine Grow WordPress plugin on many of your sites and you don't necessarily want to recharge that to your client, very reasonable price here of £103.98. I think this is a offer, you can see it scratched it out there. So it might not be when you look at it, it's normally 49 and then $199. So take that with a grain of salt, but ultimately it's a case of, yeah, it's a very reasonable price. Now it's very, very different to something like Brick, something like Elemental, where those are, those are themes. Um, whereas the Pinegrow plugin is exactly that. It's actually a plugin. So you're gonna to want to install it inside of here. So if we go add a new plugin, um, upload a plugin, and we grab our zip file and upload that here, should be able to install it. And if we activate it, if we activate it, you should see the Pinegrow theme here. You obviously put in your license into here so that's pretty straightforward so once again i don't i don't have a clue about any of this so let's figure it out let's create a new project this looks very familiar to normal prime grow and we want to import from a zip file so choose a zip file that contains a source html and css for projects do not import wordpress themes and plugins or non-static html projects so Let's go to my sites. I have all my source stuff here. So let's compress that. And this will be all of my yeah, static files and all the rest of it. And let's import that. So it hasn't taken some font files, which is interesting. I'll have to figure that out. But it seems like it's worked. And this looks very familiar, although I prefer a dark mode, wherever that is. Uh, menu. So we can download it, which is interesting. Let's have a look, actually, let's go straight to downloading it, see what that looks. Download project zip. It looks as I would expect, which is cool. So if I do, if I make changes and I want to download that, then that's a simple case of doing that. So with regards to, you know, I know I'm going to go on a long journey or I want to work on this, then there's probably some pre-planning um, needed. I mean, it's a step better than Webflow, which is basically all online. And if the server is slow, then you're screwed. So at least in this case, if it's starting to slow or whatever, then you can just download it and work on it locally. Uh, I do however think this is a complete separate cost to Pine Grow. So you don't necessarily have to have both, which is quite, uh, well, cost effective really. But I can't 
uh, change this to dark mode, unfortunately. It's funny, this, I think this is as my project is on, um, in the local version. Uh, all of the same kind of windows are open. I wonder if now this has created a new uh, theme. Which it seems to have done. So let's activate this thing. Change the names of those somewhere. That was actually really painless. Um, I mean, I've got plenty of projects that are about pine grove, so I don't necessarily want to go into there, but let's just have a look to see what's going on. Uh, AI, you've got the AI, obviously WordPress, interactions. Let's see what the interactions panel looks like. That's a bolt-on, that's a paid for bolt-on with the, the um, desktop version, so it looks like it's here, although my license might already include that, but that's pretty cool. Um, and I played around with, if I remember rightly, I played around with blocks here because I didn't really know what they did. So, yeah, looks like there's some updates that needs to happen here. So that looks like it's breaking there. I wonder how I'm going to do that because I need those assets. That's the fonts, right? So I did just find this article about the uh, using custom fonts. I'll leave it linked below. But ultimately, I downloaded Yabe web font and then uploaded my font files, but matched this name to, you know, whatever they are. So I opened up, um, where are we here? Um, I was using the brand, so I opened up this one and then saw that that was called font awesome brands that was the font family was using and then the font weight at all as well so just matching that through going through um let me just double check the brands one is 400 and it's 400 so picked all that up and everything seems to be working absolutely fine now so i believe this integrates with the web uh, pine growth so there we go there um If we go into our editor, apparently this is supposed to work seamlessly with that too. So page home here, click on that. Let's have a little look. I've done here and then font family. Yeah. So maybe it's just that. I'm not too sure. Either way, it works in the editor now. So it all was hunky dory. What I want to do is go to Hostinger. Here we go. File Manager. So it's just created, basically it's just created new, new files, which is really good. So I think this is a really cool addition they've made here. Um, let me know if you want me to dig into anything specific because my mind's a bit gone a bit blank at the moment trying to think of what to show. But ultimately now this website has just been moved incredibly easy onto um, the plugin version of this of this uh, of pine grow and now it's just a case of just I can do everything without any bother or any worry about any uploading any files or anything like that it's really cool so I hope you enjoyed this episode um, it was really fun let me know if you have any questions or your thoughts and feelings like subscribe all the rest of it and until next time happy no coding <laughs>